hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to showcase how you can onboard microsoft defender xdr logs to microsoft sentinel or basically how you can ingest all the logs which are generated on security.microsoft.com to microsoft sentinel so for this particular demo i'm signed in to portal.azure.com with the appropriate permission and as of now i am inside my sentinel console and from this particular section i have clicked on content hub okay now here i have to actually search for m365 defender xdr connector which is this one okay now the moment i'll click on this and i'll click on install this connector will be available and then we can go ahead and perform the integration now before i go ahead and show you the integration end to end let me make you understand something now, when it comes to M365 Defender, it's very important for you to understand what integration you are doing because you have to be exceptionally intentional when it comes to data. Okay, so you can see that if I go to advanced hunting section of my security.microsoft.com, I can see there are n number of different tables and these table basically corresponds to the respective solution that I'm using. Okay. So for this particular tenant, I have M365 E5 as well as I have MDE. So that's the reason why you see over here devices, vulnerability management, and then there is a specific section for exposure management and practically anything which is available, right? You can see these are all different set of information which is available over here. Now, the question is why I should know this because when you are performing the integration, let's say if I talk about M365 Defender integration, and let's say if I click on install, once this connector is available, it practically shows you that what all information this connector is going to query for you. Okay. Now for each connector, there is a table mapping, which is defined. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say if I onboard this particular connector, then what all tables will be queried by this particular connector? Now, this is something which is exceptionally important and you should know this because when you are integrating any solution here, the process is exceptionally simple, but for majority of the solutions, which are not Microsoft solutions, the data will either go to, let's say, syslog or CEF. So you should be very much aware about what kind of integration you are performing. Okay. Until and unless you go ahead and create a custom table and perform all uh, the complicated steps which i will be showing in the future but as of now just make sure you understand this aspect so as of now i have just installed microsoft defender xdr connector and i can see the first option of data connector in my content type and it shows me that if you enable this particular connector then these are the tables that you can query now the reason why i'm saying you can query because this console gives you the option to select the tables of a specific solution itself that you have to query. Now, if I talk about M365 XDR, precisely speaking, it's a Microsoft 365 Defender suite of services, which includes MDI, MDO, MDE. And you can see for each solution, I'm getting the options to select the respective tables. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and for this particular demo, I'll select all the tables and then I can just click on apply. Now, these are something, uh, you know, this aspect is very common and I have already discussed about this, that it will show you the privileges that you need from both the aspects. The very first one is Sentinel and then your security solution. So in our case, your account should be either GA or security admin to perform this integration. Similarly, you should have access to Azure sentinel as well to perform the actions you can see over here it shows you read and write permissions okay as of now i have selected all the tables and i have clicked on once again apply changes so let's close this now let's wait for a couple of minutes because it is going to take at least 20 30 minutes for data ingestion to get started 20, 30 minutes is the upper limit, which I have seen, but in some scenarios, it may get started in five, 10 minutes as well. Okay. Now, once the data ingestion happens, then all the respective table that exist here. So let's say if I go 
and show you the tables of Microsoft Sentinel, you will get the same naming convention. So here also it shows device events. And if at all you want to go slightly more deep, you can actually go ahead and match the schema as well. So inside the workspace of Microsoft Sentinel, there is a table which is already created, which is device event. And it is having the same schema of the table that exists here. You can see this. Okay. So the expected outcome is once we see the data ingestion, then everything that is getting listed over here will also be available on this particular console. So let's pause the video and I will resume once I see data in Sentinel console. Perfect. So it took around 25 minutes uh, for this to get connected. And now again, I'm inside data connector section. I've selected the one which we have onboarded, which is Microsoft Defender XDR. And if I'll scroll down, you can see the tables which have already received the data and the rest of them are in progress. OK, so let's say now if I go ahead and click on logs and if I close this and if I try to access device events for last 24 hours, it, it should start showing me some data to begin with. OK, so as of now, the data which exists here on my XDR portal has started getting ingested or is getting ingested to my Sentinel console. OK, so this is how you integrate security.microsoft.com, the XDR portal logs with Sentinel. So this was all about knowing how to ingest Microsoft Defender logs. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how you can connect Microsoft Defender threat intelligence logs with Sentinel. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.